another video with me, your girl, Latoya. Now, as you saw in the title, today I'm going to give you my personal review of Royal De Cameron Club Caribbean Jamaica, and this is the one located in Runaway Bay. Now, guys, I have a lot to tell you, and let me tell you, I have a lot. Now, before I get into the personal review, I'm going to show you clippings of the property, food, entertainment, and all the works. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below, thumbs up this video, post your comments and share. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Guys, my reach just touched on in at the airport uh, and I'm a jean force. <laughs> Guys, I'm hungry. We're actually late. I think checking is at 3. I'm gonna confirm that time. And it's now like probably to 4. Don't know why we took so long to get here, but nevertheless, we're here. Alright, I'll drink my drink. That's the way we're supposed to work. So guys, welcome to the room tour. As you can see, there is a stairs leading upstairs and I will definitely talk about that shortly. But I'm just showing you the living area. So as you can see, there is no bed in this area because the living area is separated from the bedroom area downstairs. Now they provided the room with a mini fridge. Unfortunately, there were no beverage there, only for the two waters that they provided um this area also has their white screen uh tv and a little table i noticed that there weren't any tea items or kettle or cups to make any tea so that's something that you'd want to consider as well now this room to my right or in front of me leads to the main bedroom but i'm just going to show you how inside the bathroom looks now the bathroom is pretty tiny so you have to keep that in mind so they provide you with your washcloths, your towel, your blow dryer, and they also provide items for you to, to shower like the soap and the shower gel and the shampoo. So you can have these to use. So let us take a look over the bath and notice that there weren't any stoppers to fill the tub. So you have to do a regular standing showering. Um, they do have warm water and i noticed that there was this wire thing hanging in the bathroom i use this to place my washcloth so now let's go into the main bedroom which is downstairs now this room is rather tiny and i am not liking that the ceiling is so close um this appears to be a double sized bed so you also have to keep that in mind they provided you with a telephone in the room so you can call the front desk or any other area if you need any type of service. Behind this wall, you have your iron, your iron board. And uh, I noticed that there aren't any robes provided in this room. This section also have a safe so you can lock away your items for safety. Now, um, time to go on the upper level. So I'm going to go up the stairs to see what is up there. So on this level, there are two 
twin size bed and this is really um unique so if you come there with your children or a group of friends they can stay um, upstairs in this section and if you are there as a couple you and your spouse can stay in the main area downstairs so this is pretty cool i don't like the fact that it's so close to the ceiling as well but i mean it is a a, a good thought process to have extra bedding for um, a large number of persons so guys this is the room tour i hope you love the view from above i am going to show you the other section of the property so stay tuned little um the cameron gift shop so i guess you can come here and purchase your little souvenirs um your buckle your cups your key ring your chips and all of that this is where we entered from off the main road and we're actually actually um a stone throw away from the main road so that's the main road there and then this is the front of the property so guys here is the lobby And that's where the check-in area is so as you can see right in front of a lobby you have a nice little swimming pool and you have your entertainment stage at the right and you also have the bar there there's actually not a swim up bar I saw another pool around the other end so I'm gonna check if that swimming pool has a swim up bar but this one doesn't but you can actually get out the pool and straight to the bar to my left here of the lobby you have the dining area this is where you have your breakfast lunch and dinner and this is a buffet style so this is an angle of the entertainment area from the bar section so that's the lobby where we're coming from this is the entertainment stage where we were at so guys this is still the buffet area but i'm around this section where it's close to the, the stage bleeding up here i'm not sure where it takes you but your girl like a fast so come on, go upstairs then i forgot to tell me say we can't go up there ah. so this look like i wonder if this is a restaurant yeah man this is a restaurant of course so this name Nya means restaurant and guys i will give you an update regarding the restaurant so this is a balcony above the buffet area All of these that you're looking at, the number 65, 78, as you can go along, these are all rooms, guys. So this is a bar here, and a little beach. So this is for this side, guys. So we're back at the beach front. Now we're going to go back straight to the lobby and check out the area to the right. Those rooms where I'm staying, 
um, the other side of the property that has the pool along with the section that had the beach entertainment so guys I know some of you love the beach but this is how the beach looks water rough sea dirty and as I said before I'm not going to bash the property and their beach because maybe it's a time of year where you know the time cool and the sea rough and all of that and the sea clean itself so I mean thumbs up for that but look at this section of the beach guys you saw this part pretty but the water is still rough can't swim but yes guys so this is this section of the beach so guys oh we're back at the lobby so i'm going this section so this is where you have your entertainment center where you get your towel so it's right next to the lobby as well so again that's the pool at the front of the lobby now you have this chart here that shows you what would happen on a daily basis and you have your area over there where you can take your kids if you want to just come here and relax at the resort so these rooms up here look really fancy and i guess these are the expensive room them two-story building here when me they are one story <laughs> so guys this is a tennis court so i'm actually never been around this section but here you have all your little sports you have your playground here right and you have the rules for the playground as well you can actually pause the video to read that again so this is the playground you have your slide and your swing so guys look at these rooms we really need to ask about these rooms and because they look fairly bigger than mine so this is a quiet pool i guess if you want <laughs> come here with your spooky and stay quietly kind of tiny though but this is a quiet room pool rules so you can pause this and and read and this is a pool section guys over the big property side like the two-story building side see so it's not a swim up bar but i guess you can get drinks there i hardly saw persons over this side yesterday so yeah you have to keep that in mind as well but these are the big side guys and see my room there room 44 finally see it boom you come and you pay your chest here yeah you friend them actually you can walk on it you know so you walk right so this is jasmine delta restaurant so I guess in the nights they turn this into a nice restaurant but during the day this is how it looks so this is where we had our burgers and fries yesterday you can actually walk there to go and look at the ocean and guys look on the water water rough and strong so this is what I was talking about around this section it's a view to the sea guys look at the water see rough okay water. and then back there is where I was where you saw the beach area and stuff so this is the other section of the property guys the little chapel El Chapo <laughs> uh, guys as you can see the roof of the rooms are in a deplorable condition but guess what guys don't have to worry i can see that they're refurbishing the roofs so these are actually those that are done already so you can see that one in between these two so yes guys don't worry they might fix up them place because i mean this is something this is just natural for things to depreciate and so they are you know refurbishing so that is a plus for the property so what i was telling you about so this is my room room 44 so when you step out of room 44 right boom see jet bar right beside room 44 it's a jet bar so you come here son and then look boom you have your bar and guys a beer entertainment okay so yesterday um foam party a foam you call it so i so, don't know what you call it yeah party out here so I keep beer nice and make what dance and a one and a prance but it was a good vibes, man. I lie.
hey guys welcome back to the review section of this video now as i said before this review is based on my experience so it is definitely my personal review now guys on arrival i didn't like how the property looked on the outside so i was a bit you know concerned but i was like let's not knock it till they try it so we got there around 3 30 pretty late not sure why we were late but we were late because check-in is at three and check-out is at noon now i was told that unlike other resort where you can come early i mean reach early and enjoy the property until your room is available with this one they don't like when you come too early so the earliest you can reach is probably like two o'clock but guys we reached there at 3 30. now check-in was pretty easy one thing I noticed when I reached was that the pool area was right near the lobby. Like, guys, them can literally splash me up while I'm at in. Kind of exaggerate, but yeah, it was pretty close to the lobby. I never really liked that, you know, because as they come, people can't say it in two pieces and all the works. But let's jump in to the room. Now, guys, the room, I don't know if I'm claustrophobic, but the room was rather tiny. I didn't like the room that much. Um, it has uh and uh, upstairs inside where you have two tiny beds i think you call those twin beds they had two beds up there two twin beds and i guess if you're there with your kids they can stay upstairs while you stay downstairs in the main room the bathroom tiny the fridge they only gave it two bottle water fridge empty like pancake but i was told that pancake empty <laughs> fridge empty so i was told that you can take things from outside and bring into the fridge but there are only two waters no drinks in the fridge the main room which was the room that i stayed in downstairs was also tiny i think the bed in there is a double bed so i never really liked that as well um the tv now you know normal resorts you have the tv and the bed in one room with there they have the tv in like a living area and then the bed on the inside now for me, I didn't really like that because I love my bed and I love watch TV. So I had to be in the living area watching the TV while my spouse was in the room. He wanted me to stay in the room. I want to watch TV. It was so confusing. But if you like that and that works for you, then this resort is for you. The other thing is that my room was near to the beach entertainment. So like around between 2 and 5 o'clock, there's a lot of noise. So if you're there to relax, don't take this room, room 44. It's a no-no, beer music, beer dance. But if you're a person who love dance and entertainment and you want in your room and enjoy the music, then that's fine. Thumbs up for you. The Wi-Fi guys, they have Wi-Fi, but when I tell you say Wi-Fi poor, the Wi-Fi poor. Five minutes may I watch a video, I may have to wait for it both. Like, that's a no-no. So the Wi-Fi are weak. So if you go there, walk with the one Wi-Fi, walk with the data and use it up. Right guys? So now, let us talk about the food no guys you know me love my belly me love my belly bad 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 food is my world my world guys out of 10 10 being the highest me get the food at two and the reason why i didn't get a two is because the burger area them beef did well seasoned up you just have to ask for it to be well done the food was so poor i didn't like the lunch i didn't like the dinner and may i say yo if them spoil lunch and dinner them can't spoil breakfast who can't spoil breakfast nobody can't spoil breakfast but the camera and spoil the breakfast like guys every time i go there to take up something to eat like my plate full up still i can't eat it the juice them sweet like a syrup and then them never have much variety so i'm like there i'm like okay it's like that two meat kind like not not cute guys it is not cute so the food for me was was totally off totally off for me you now the property it's a good size on the outside the property look rather tiny rather small but on the inside it has a long area you can walk over yonder you can walk over here the property is big so i will give them i mean the size of the property don't really make the place posh I mean it's just a good size they have a lot of rooms there um i figured that the room that i paid for was the issue because i saw a bigger room so if you want a nicer view bigger room more space i guess you have to pay for that so let me not bash them for their room because i guess it's what i paid for no the beach all persons like for me to talk about the beach i don't really like beach water and i was like okay this time i'm going into the beach Guys, the beach, the river, the steam of the river, the sea rough, 
and you see dirty so I'm not going to say this is the same right throughout the year I guess maybe the time that I went the sea was rough and the beach was dirty so maybe that's why and the time was pretty cold let me tell you time when me do go guys my cold to be use AC I mean love AC your girl love AC we don't use no AC the time was really cold so the beach I didn't go into the beach now there are two pools there is one near my room and then there's the one in the lobby near the lobby that i spoke of earlier i didn't want to go into pool and I, in the pool and i was like okay let me go into the pool because my vloggers like to see when we're in the pool guys check out is at 12 noon and i decided that i want to go in the pool at 11 10. when i reached to the pool area i told the guy that i need a towel he's gonna say that he needs a room number I told him my room number 44 He's going to say to me that he's not seen my room number. So I'm saying, okay, check out is at noon. I still have on my band. I need a towel. He's not seen my number. And yada, yada. And I was like, what? I said, please give me a towel. And that's how I got a towel, guys. Then he's going to ask me how long I'm going to stay in the pool. And I'm like, is this a procedure to ask your customers how long they might going to stay in the pool? How long they might bring my towel? Like, guys, if me stay past 12 o'clock, which is check out, then probably book me for an extra day. Leave me alone, I enjoy myself. Let me incur the cost then. Don't stress me out. So I did very disappointed. So you know, girl, just spend five minutes in the pool because I just did one vlog the pool experience for you guys to see. Now, guys, talking about checkout. Checkout is at noon. And between the hours of 11 and 12 o'clock, two to three persons came knocking at my door asking me if I'm not going to leave. Like, oh, sorry, I wanted to clean the room. I thought you check out at... No? Check out is at 12. Why are you coming... At 11 30 please come at after 12 and guys when the third person came and knocked on my door before 12 o'clock that was it for me so you know goody when i went to the lobby area i had to tell him that i am very disappointed i'm a dissatisfied customer and i told him my experience and they did apologize and to say that that's not that should not be the practice but guys made it totally over the roof where's the food taste bad and the room never did nice and all that made it just turned off completely would i go to this property again no 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 we would not go i'm not gonna lie i'll my email free stay it's just like you didn't give me the opportunity to say you know what maybe just today is just bad guys no we wouldn't go back and for the restaurant i probably think they have the buffet area the main buffet area where i had a breakfast lunch and the dinner but for like a restaurant setting i only saw one restaurant i'm not sure if there's only one restaurant on the property but there was only one restaurant that i saw which was nyamin and i was told that you have to book the restaurant in a, a day in advance maybe this is not unique to this resort but we come there for one day stay like would you come with our cheap still one day stay we couldn't get no reservation at the restaurant because we have to book it in advance like there has to be some way you can cater to those who not going to stay for two days one day just do something for winning mass so guys overall my experience was horrible would i go to the resort no i would not go there again but maybe if you go you have a different experience from what i had so i'm not going to say don't go don't do this don't do that go have the experience yourself and come and tell me about it now guys that's my review thanks for sticking with me throughout this video again if you're new to my channel please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below thumbs up this video post your comments and share thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys mwah, mwah.